Yo, what's up, guys? Me, Teen Jugo, back again with another video. I, I know it's been a while. It's been a, a little, uh, little, little two, two month, two month break. Oh, hell no. <laughs> but I'm back. That's, that's all that matters. I'm back, and I'm gonna be trying to be in full effect, full force. And I thought to myself maybe the best way to I guess go about it. And when I mean thought to myself, I'm a complete liar. My friend gave me a suggestion, aka Mr. Dark Hounds. Go check out his Twitch. But uh, yeah, he gave me a quick suggestion that when I had saw the game show with my friend uh, Mr. Spire Two Man, also on Twitch, you go watch him too. Not the point. I'm not trying to plug them, but I watched the Summer Game Fest with my boy Derek, and I haven't posted it in two months. So I was like, hmm, I, I need to do a video. This is a guy there from my other boy. So I was like, you know what? I'll I'll do it and let, let's see where this just leads because I have a few thoughts that I did want to get off my chest and I was talking it over with Derek you know I was like yeah let, let me get let, let me get out these thoughts this, this is the correct action and last but not least a quick disclaimer is I'm only gonna be talking about games that I thought were cool or I just wanted to talk about or I had any type of thoughts at all about so with further ado let's talk about some Street Fighter how is it that you can do that my sonic boom know someone else who can do it who did you see and if the least are true then i gotta talk about why why what has he done what has he done to deserve this jesus christ i'm gonna make you guys want to go suicide what nah let's just hope that's not real right let's, let's just like you know let's just hope that's not real but yeah like i said before our super side for this game it seems like it's gonna be a good game and that's really all the quick thoughts I had on it. Just, I guess, just talking about it for a second. But moving on to the next thing I was super excited about. Alien, The Dark Descent. This looks pretty fucking interesting. I I swear, the budget they be having, or the budget they be putting into these trailers is like, well, like why at this point just make a movie? Like, I, like, you got all these trailers like Apex, you got all these trailers like uh, Overwatch and all this stuff. Like, damn, like why is this not like, you know, like a, a movie or a feature like film or stuff like that? But, um, yeah, I, I think it looked, it looked cool. It looked pretty cool to me. Like, I'm really interested in, like, what in the world some of those, like, it looks like android humanoid things are. That's, like, what the aliens look really interesting. I, I definitely want to figure out what that is. As well as the gameplay, for, like, the few seconds we see, it looks like it's, like, third-person, another, like, third-person uh, shooter. Or maybe, I think also, it might be co-op. I, I, I don't know. But all I know is it's on all platforms, and it looks really interesting to me i just have something i've always liked the aliens and stuff like that with sigourney weaver and all the movies and stuff like that i think well mostly well most of them okay well, well not all of them, most of them but yeah i'm pretty excited for this i think it's i think it could be a good game i heard the last one was uh pretty all right remind me a little bit like a little bit left for dead type of feel uh with the um i think that was also a little bit third person but not as much as like uh a little bit of a world view from the up to down but yeah i'm pretty excited for this and okay moving on to the next one the next thing we talk about is the Crud de la Crum, the golden child, if you will. The, for me, at least, the hypest moment of the Summer Game Fest is this game, none other than the Callisto Protocol. At least that's how I hope you say that. This this game looks so actually amazing. I cannot physically wait for this game to come out. It gave me that Dead Space alien feel. My friend who I was talking to, Derek, he was saying that it was... Uh, it was some of the creators of Death Space. Oh, uh, well, we could just take that with a grain of salt because I, I I don't know for myself because I didn't look it up. I'm just going off of what I saw. But the gameplay looked amazing. I love the gameplay. It had like the most Death Space feel ever. I, I know for a fact that it's going to feel way better than Death Space 3. And Death Space 3 isn't actually bad or anything like that. But I it, 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 it seems like it's going to be a really extremely good game from a graphical standpoint as well as the gameplay standpoint. I even had, he even had the stomp animations as well from like Death Space 1, but like a little bit more aggressive, he's like stomping a lot. I'm also glad they had a lot more stuff to show, aka the gameplay of the game, and seeing how it actually plays, so they like give me like, you know, a cutscene, and seeing like, oh, it's, it's gonna be about this, this, that, and this, and they actually showed off the gameplay, and it looks really cool. I forgot what that gun reminds me of, it reminds me of something, it's, I, I don't know what it, what it is, but it reminds me of a certain, a certain gun from a different game. And any times like really interesting where like some of them look transformed. You had like some eggs or some shit coming out, some eggs, some weird shit. Or you had like some people transforming. Well, I'm assuming that's all the people on the ship that like transform into like these disgusting creatures for some odd reason. But I'm really interested and really hyped for this game. So I just I want to see more about what's gonna happen or what's gonna go on in the story. So yeah, this is definitely the most hypest game I had uh, so far when I seen the Summer Game Fest. But moving on to the next one. Being a highly anticipated game we got coming up next is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. 
So I'm not gonna really talk much about it because all they really showed was like the campaign stuff. They always be showing of the campaign, and the campaign's always good. Uh, like a majority of Call of Duty games, the least you can get is the good ass campaign. So I'm not gonna really talk that much about it. The campaign looks good. It, just, it looks fine. It looks good. And I see that they bring back the vector, and I, I heard that they're gonna bring back a few other guns. So I'm uh, pretty excited about that. I'm hoping the game is good, and there's not really much problems with the multiplayer because like the last few multiplayers have been lacking in my opinion. I've loved the zombies for like the last few games, but like the multiplayer is not too much good for me. And I hope they can fix the wars. <laughs> but that's a whole nother video topic, honestly, in itself. But that's all I really wanted to say. I am excited for what I saw, and it, lo it looks good. It, it, it always looks good. This campaign. Moving on, we got a uh, Witchfire. Witchfire, I am super hype about. Witchfire is probably, I guess, maybe my number two. I'm not gonna lie, definitely my number two for uh, most excited because. Witchfire, it, it reminded me of like a medieval Bioshock, like, it looked so good. I like the little spells they were doing, how they had like, it looked like some vigors and stuff like that. And also like the medieval elements that had in it, like some of the enemies and like, also the way the gun looks a little medieval as well, but a little bit with technological advancements, it looks really good. From also again, uh, another game that showed up off their gameplay, and I'm just really excited for this game to come out. Okay, but for the next few games, I'm probably just going to talk about really fast because it's like not really much to talk about, but uh, I still want to definitely go over it because I definitely saw something I liked. Was one, I saw the Fort, Fort Solace game, and the Fort Solace game looks interesting. Again, it looks like on some alien type of type of vibe where it's like people are stranded like in a space station or I'm pretty sure like on Mars or some or, or orange type, type of planet. And something's going on inside this ship, whether it be like a killer robot or maybe just like it looks like maybe an infection or something like that. I don't I don't really know much because they haven't really given that much. But I am intrigued and I'm always interested in those type of games where like you don't know what's happening or just like again like another alien type of feel. So I, I'm I'm a little excited for that one. So I'm definitely gonna look out for that one. As well as you also have the next game you have is uh the TMNT game, the 8 bit one, which is uh Shredder's Revenge. That game looks pretty good. I uh, I love my beat 'em ups. Beat 'em ups have always been a thing since I I don't know when. I I, I don't know how long beat 'em ups have been a thing, but like beat 'em ups have always been cool to me. I always loved beat 'em ups. Playing uh, the Simpsons, that was the, that was probably one of my favorite beat 'em ups I ever played. I played the Streets of Rage one, the new one recently. That was pretty good. And so this one looks like a, a really good like retro style beat 'em up with like uh, eight bit so eight eight bit to it with the Ninja Turtles, so I'm pretty hyped for it. I definitely would try to look out for that one as well. That one looks like a, a pretty good cop, if I do say so myself. And we also have, really want to go over really quickly, is One Piece Odyssey. Uh, not to be confused with, with uh, Mario Odyssey. Mario? <laughs> but <laughs> it, it, looks, it, looks, uh, it looks really good. I, the last few One Piece games have been, they looked, I guess, somewhat the same. I've always loved One Piece, so I've always been a One Piece head, so I definitely want to keep my head up for it. Even though I haven't been really playing the One Piece games like that, I definitely give, like, uh, I think it was World Seeker, I think the last one was called. I definitely give that one a chance and a few of the other ones. But if you like One Piece, I'm pretty sure you're just going to like the game. If you don't like One Piece, then there's no reason for you to buy that game, because, like, it's already, like, so far ahead of the story. But, uh, yeah, One Piece, honestly, it looks, it looks pretty good. Then the next game, I'm pretty, like, 50 50 on. From like what uh, people say as well as what the, what the gameplay shows off, Gotham Knights. I'm really 50/50 on it because I want to give it a chance and see how it is. But there's also a lot of weird things that are happening that I don't know how I would feel. Like I know Batman. I guess like he sort of died or faked his death by the end of the last game, as well as uh, Commissioner Gordon's dead, and then now you have the four new playable. Uh, I guess Robins and also Batgirl. And it looks somewhat interesting, but the gameplay looks really weird, and I don't know how I would potentially feel about it, but I want to give it a chance because I don't know if it would be bad or not. And it does, uh, from what the gameplay gave us, the I, I seen Jason Todd on a bike and it looked a little weird, well I mean a little looked really fucking weird, and I, 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 I'm just so 50-50 on it, like I do need to, I want to give it a chance, or at least I'll probably wait till reviews come out or some, watch a different other YouTuber play it and then see how the game is, at least the, the first like hour before I even think about attempting to get it. But it's it's, it's a real 50 50. And last but certainly, la certainly very much least, 
Last game I will talk about, Last of Us Remake. I am not excited for Last of Us Remake. I don't think Last of Us should be getting a remake anytime soon. It should, in my opinion, I think this game should be getting a remake like in at least 15 years. At least give a game at least at the bare minimum 15 years before you remake the game. I would say that because I want to see some new stuff. I want to see like them add a whole bunch of good stuff to it and like give it like a, like some time at least. Or, you know, I, and you can say, oh, it's been nine years, or we want Last of Us, but it was nine years ago. It was like, it was recently. It wasn't like anything like too crazy. It wasn't anything like uh, like 20 years, 30 years, something, something like that. And it's like a big ass throwback. Like, it was just nine years ago, and then now it's just, it comes back so soon. It makes me a little bit scared because I don't know if they're either desperate or maybe they just want them to have something on PS5 and have it be popping or whatever the case is, but. I'm a little bit worried. I, I'm a little bit worried for this remake. I, again, I know it's probably gonna look. Actually, no, not even. I seen on Twitter, like, and also as well as the trailer, like, it looked mostly the same. It didn't look too much of a difference, or the face changes didn't seem too much. And again, I haven't seen any of the gameplay or how it looks on the gameplay side, so I definitely need to give the benefit of the doubt there, to be fair. But I, I don't know how I feel about this. It's, I, I'm, I'm on the, on the more on the left side of like, yo, I'm not really too inclined to be liking it, but. I don't know, maybe it might it, it might be good, I, I definitely have potential for it, because obviously we all know the story is good, you know, the, in the first one at least the gameplay was good and all that other stuff, so it would be really interesting to see. But I think the probably the best part coming out of this is probably the multiplayer coming back, if it does, hopefully it does. Because they didn't do multiplayer for the second game, but in the first game the multiplayer was really good. I love, always loved watching and, and stuff like that, so I, I guess that's all my thoughts on the Summer Game Pass. Uh, I said summer game pass. The summer trailer watch, shing dig, whatever. It doesn't matter. But yeah, that's all my thoughts on that for now. But um, I'm definitely gonna try to upload some more. That's my fault. My bad. Two months. So it's been way too long. That was an idiot move. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm I'm here. I'm back. And I'm definitely gonna go on full force on it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what I'll put up, but whenever it's up, you will see it up. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, goodbye.